the China vlogger community is dead. And let me explain why. Now, I'm not saying that, like, there's not people within the community that are getting views. Quite, quite obviously, Winston, you know, Law 86, these people, they're still growing. Their channels, um, even though they're upwards of a million subs now, are still growing. But the community is dead. And the reason that it's dead is not not to the fault of them or me or anyone, really. Um, the fault is to be blamed on the shills. You see, the shills are a little confused. The idea is to go to the country and to discuss the country realistically, to tell the truth about the country. And they've come to realize that they're unable to do that. So instead of showing China and telling the truth about China and, you know, all of the right stuff about China and showing the great culture, the food and the people, they've literally done the opposite. They've literally moved to China and just started discussing the Western world. It's the stupidest thing ever. If you want to discuss Western world politics, how about you just stay in the Western world? You see, the reason that you can't go to China and discuss Chinese politics is because it can get you thrown in jail. So there's a difference there. It's better to report on Chinese politics from the Western world, if you have experience, of course, which we do. But the difference is, is that you can't report on Chinese politics, right? So if these guys were real China vloggers, which, which they're not, again, they're, the shills have become propaganda pieces. What that means is that there is no longer a large growing channel in China that is about China. All of the channels, um, the Daniel Dumbrils, which are not really growing. Uh, perhaps the Barrett channel is growing. But again, um, they're trying to prop up how cool China is by somehow talking about how bad the Western world is. Again, that's not being a China vlogger. If you want to be a China vlogger and you want to show how cool China is, you don't even got to talk shit about the West. You know, when when I lived in China and I said good things about China, I didn't even mention the West because that's not what a China vlogger would do. You're supposed to share your experience about China. When people like Serpent ZA, you know, or Lawa86 didn't really talk about America much. Winston didn't really talk about South Africa much because people keep forgetting this is the China vlogger community, right? And so whenever we as people that have left China talk about China politically, that is because it has affected our lives negatively. So the people that are living in China should not be discussing Western politics within the China vlogger community because quite obviously they're going to end up back in the West eventually anyways. It really makes no sense um, because, again, if they're China vloggers, they would be showing all the good, the amazing about China. But instead, we've got some uh, people that just spend their whole life on Twitter and, uh, you know, continue to go around complaining about the Western world and things like that while using Western world social media, you know and all that stuff makes no sense this is just proof that the china vlogger community is dead and uh, that the real destruction of it was the shills and of course the ccp state-run media for getting involved because now no one gets to see the real beauties of china the landscape the culture the good food now all you get to hear from is some 
55 year old guy talk about the West while he's living in China. Like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day.